Hello viewers, it's your girl Cynthia Amadi coming to you with another very interesting yet salient topic that has been rocking the aviation industry. Nigerians are very disgusted and angry with the way at which the aviation minister Stella Odua has misappropriated funds that is um, task payers money with impunity and recklessness so um, everyone in Nigeria basically know the story of how she purchased two supposed Amor BMW for over a quarter of a billion naira this is a woman who was appointed placed in public office to take care of the aviation industry and yes when she entered um, the industry it was greeted with applause because we started seeing in a short while renovations going around the country sadly last week I happened to have passed through the uh, the Moritala Mohammed International Airport and I saw a leaking roof but that's not even the bone of contention or the reason why we are having this particular um, recording my focus today is why this particular scandal is being handled recklessly in our usual fashion panels have been set up the EFCC ICPC and every other agency that is that that is thrust with the um, responsibility of checking criminal um, activity is on this case but let's see Nigerians are watching let's see what comes out of this scandal of the year and my particular concern is why the good luck Jonathan as the president of Nigeria has not still suspended her at least not even firing her but suspending her from public office a little over three weeks ago she was the aviation industry uh, minister and as of today the 3rd of November she still is our aviation minister despite having that kind of scandal such occurrence is very 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 typical of Nigerian leadership where integrity is lost and Nigeria is replete of leaders who who understand what it is to serve publicly if this kind of scandal this, this kind of scandal of this magnitude has happened in another African country I'm not even gonna bring the US or Europe into it trust me whoever is involved would have either been brought to book or at least for integrity's sake resign her office but no not Nigerian leadership Stella Odua is hanging on even more desperately to that position of the Minister of Aviation despite having the infantry to toy with taxpayers money your money my money cuz I pay my tax one woman she's come up with several lies to back up the very first one and my Nigerian people especially my Nigerian youth have you people noticed how she has shifted blame on the NCAA and how she has blamed everybody but herself in this scandal with each passing day we get a different angle to the story but no Stella Odua would never take responsibility are these the kind of leaders we want is this the kind of leadership that we should have I ask you I ask myself and I call on the Nigerian youth we need to do something it's time to take our fight off the social media and let's take it to the gates where these people live just so they know we are not playing mr. president if you eventually get to see this video I will tell you that Nigerian people are watching just like your opposition is watching and trust me for your re-election into office if you can single-handedly tackle this particular scandal and bring this woman who has abused her office as the Minister of Aviation to book you don't need any campaign material I tell you because if you just thrust this particular scandal to agencies who are supposed to 
um, come up with different panels that will probe and probe and probe. And like it's, it's the, the, and like it's the nature of other probes, nothing at the end of the day, your opponents will have fat materials to use against you come 2015. I call on Nigerians. It is enough. Let us stand up and let us fight. These people who are giving us bad names, these people who are misappropriating funds are the very few. And we are several millions of people in Nigeria. And yet we sit back and watch and say tomorrow, you go better, you no go better. That is the naked truth. Let us take our fight off the social media and let us take it right there, Abuja, where our monies are being spent recklessly and carelessly with impunity, with no regard for the Nigerian people. Imagine this woman. Isn't it even a, a shameful thing that, a min, that the Minister of Aviation should say that she bought those armor vehicle because of trigger hap, happy uh, opponents or people who are who who can be coming after her if you were doing your job ask the minister of aviation who will come after you nigerians will applaud you for a job well done and you will not have supposed people after you so why don't we then take go into the national treasury and spend it recklessly because after all there are people who are after genuine citizens in this country Every day, people are dying in their tens and in their hundreds. And I don't see what the lawmakers are doing but agenda on a daily basis. Boko Haram, killing innocent people. And our government, just one person, assuming she has a genuine threat to her life. Just one person. Over, over a quarter of a billion dollars on just you. And you sit in your house as a minister serving in, the, in, in this presidential cabinet. You hear of the tens and thousands of people who are dying and you do nothing about it, Stella Odua. Oh, yes, you are the special baby. You are one of the senior citizens of Nigeria. After all, Judge Orwell said it. Some, every animal is equal, but some are more equal than others. I challenge you, Nigerian people. Very, uh, especially the Nigerian youth. What are we going to do about this corruption? What are we going to do about this scandal? Let us get up and fight and let this government know that we are not even playing with them. I welcome your comments. I welcome your suggestions on how we can move this country forward since these selfish few do not understand and recognize the reasons for which we should move ahead, even in 2013, when other countries have shot forward and we are still lagging behind. I welcome your comments. I welcome your suggestions. You can find me on Facebook, Cynthia Madi Lagos, Nigeria. You can follow me on Twitter. My handle is Sin the Berry. C Y N T H E B E W R Y. And my YouTube channel is Sinberry247. Feel free to welcome and like this channel. Until next time, when I come your way again, stay blessed. It's your girl, Cynthia Madi. Peace out.